Hey there, my friends. Thanks for stopping in. Today, um, I am updating you on my way in, obviously. I only did four days religiously of my regroup. I'm very pleased to say that I'm back to where I was in April when I just started to go into maintenance. I think it was in April. It may have been May now. Regardless, I am very pleased. It the main reason that I did it was so that I could get myself regrouped, as I said, that's why I called it regroup, so that I could just start my routine again, my regular routine. And that part was successful, along with the few pounds I put on, which I am not looking at the poundage that I put on because to me, most of that was inflammation and water retention, really truthfully. A couple pounds definitely was weight, but... Um, the focus is on health at this point in my journey for me, maintaining and not regaining what I lost and trying to be as healthy as I can be. With that being said, if your journey is just beginning, I would just suggest that you do the best you can to do the plan, whatever plan you're on before you start the plan. Um, understand the plan as best you can. Join groups about your specific plan. Ask questions of others that are on the plan, that type of thing. And then do what is necessary so that when the first day comes that you start that plan, you're ready to go. You don't have to second guess. You don't have to do shopping. Um, in my case, it would be, or people on Nutrisystem, our food is arriving, but we still have other food that we need to buy for, uh, in terms of smart carbs and power fuels. And the same thing goes for WW and I track bites. You have to do a certain amount of shopping to prepare for starting. And then you will continue that, get a routine, uh, whatever works for you. We're all different. The tracking is very important because you have to be able to know what you did for the day. Some of us are good at that in terms of, we don't mind and other of us hate it. So just find a way to get the tracking done jot it down. You know, you can easily jot something down without going to your tracker and maybe go back in and track it later. Some people like to pre-track so they know exactly what their points are, what their small carbon power fuels are going to be and so on. These are things that are simple things, but for some of us, they can be very overwhelming if we wait until we, the day of to, that we're going to start a plan. Um, my suggestion also would be whatever plan you're starting that you you have the mindset that you're going to stay with that plan at least for a while without changing things drastically follow your plan give it your best shot and do whatever the suggestions are for the plan each one has its own and most of them are similar for instance uh tracking making your grocery shopping easier um planning and prepping there is some prepping involved for most plans. Now, my motto is to keep everything as simple as you can. Keep your cooking simple. Keep everything, especially in the beginning. For me, it's important to keep it simple because of my lifestyle. I am busy even though I'm retired and I only have a certain amount of time in my day that I will dedicate because partly it is also that's the amount I want to dedicate. Truth be told, I don't want to spend hours in the kitchen unless it's something that I'm enjoying doing for different reasons, not for my day-to-day -day meal, meal cooking. No, that is just not me at this stage of the game. And I'm not really feeling guilty saying that. I don't think that, um, that's another thing, guilt trips. D keep away from anything that's going to cause you to feel like I'm not doing it good enough. Um, it has to be perfect because it's not going to be perfect unless you're doing keto or vegan or vegetarian, those things kind of sort of have to be perfect. What we are doing to get healthy and following in our journey as we go along is not going to be perfect. Take that word right out of your vocabulary because that's a setup for you to feel terrible and end up falling off the wagon and maybe not getting back on and undoing every good thing you've done um, in that short period or long period that you were on your plan. It has to be a lifestyle. You have to create something that is livable. Now, I'm going to update you on where I'm at with my lifestyle and changes that I've made and want to continue to make. So this is a sustain sustainable part of me, weight loss for me and the plan that I'm following to eat. I'm not even calling it a plan anymore. I'm calling it my 
healthy way of eating that works for me. Now, healthy means different things to different people. Healthy to me means that I am following along in my nutrition, that I have the right calories, um, that I keep the weight off. That is healthy to me. So what am I going to be doing? I am going to cut back on the amount of videos I make. I think there is certainly enough videos for anyone who's starting Nutrisystem to keep themselves occupied for a very long time on my channel for you to watch. If you have questions, you're always free to ask questions. I'm always available for that, for the answers. Um, join our Facebook group. Join our, tu our Tuesday evening chats. It's a lovely group of ladies and gentlemen are invited as well um, that are in that group. It is private. It is not recorded. And it's a safe space. Sometimes maybe you just want to come in and listen. You don't even have to put your video on. You can just literally listen with the mic off, the video off, and just hang out with us. And you would be welcome there. Your name does not show up as it would on Zoom. So even that, if you don't want to share your name, nobody's going to connect you to a name if you're in the group. Pardon me that this is a little bit shaky because I have my little kitty Leela here who is dying to get into the camera. So anyway, uh, it's great to have support. People support each other in the group. It's a large enough group. There are so several people that are regulars in that group. And if you have questions, please come in. I am not the only one that has to answer your questions, regardless of if you're calorie counting, if you're doing better balance on healthy, if you're on WW, or doing Nutrisystem the way the plan is set up. So my next step for myself in this process is to basically do my Nutrisystem food. I will be having that if not every day, just about every day. And if I'm not having the actual food, I will be replacing it with flex meals or other things that I have found in the marketplace that are comparable to the Nutrisystem foods, such as the bars. You all know, if you've watched me long enough, that I love my bars. Um, but again, I get used to, I, I'm one that will have things for a long time and then I get bored. And then I gravitate to something else and I'll have that for a long time and then I'll get bored. And then I will make my full circle eventually back to where I started. Um, so exactly tracking every day, am I going to plan to do that for myself to take some pressure off? I'm going to say no. There are some days that I'm just not going to track it and know exactly what my power fuel, small carbs, blah, blah, blah are. And I'm okay with that because I know this plan pretty well, or I should say very well for myself and what I, my needs are requ requ in terms of requirements for calories and such that I don't have to do that. Am I telling you not to do that? I most certainly am not. This is a very personal thing for each and every one of us. We all have to go accordingly with what we find works. Sometimes you have to do a little trial and error. I don't suggest you do that when you're in the middle of your journey. I suggest that when you're at this point in the journey that I am at, trying to sustain your loss, that you are probably better off trying to play around with it a little bit to see how, how you do. Because again, you know, are you going to be religiously tracking smart carbs and power fuels or, or points and bites and cal calories? I think you need to really focus to know as much as you can, how much you ate in a day. But the rest of it, I don't see myself doing that the rest of my life religiously. Now, will I do it most of the time? There is one doctor whose name is not coming to me at this point, who talks about being a vegan. He also goes over all the research of how if you do vegetarian, healthy vegetarian for 80% of the time or vegan, you're still 80% ahead of the game. So my idea for myself is that I will do this 80% of the time. Am I going to actually track it to 80%? No. But in my head, I pretty much know now what I'm doing. I'm confident that I do. And um, we'll see how it goes. I will update you as we go along, as I've done in past. But for right now, I am very comfortable with where I'm at. I'm very happy I did that regroup. Sometimes you need a regroup. If you've been away for a while, you may need a restart. If you have been basically within a few pounds of gold for a while and you need to get a little bit more control, mental control over yourself, um, a regroup to me sounds like a good idea. So on that note, I did come in at 100, I came in at 
133.2. I think when I went on into maintenance, I'm pretty sure I was at 133. I'm comfortable with that. If I go to 129, that'll be great. If I don't ever see 129 again, it will not be the end of my world. I feel that I have accomplished so much in the last year in learning about myself and the things that are important to me at this stage of the game um, about my life, about my eating journey, about my continuance on trying to maintain my weight, that um, it's all good. So I have a lot to be excited about. And my, I would encourage you to look at, look at yourself and where you have come from and always celebrate how far you've come. Even if it's five pounds, even if it's one pound, whatever it is, you did the work and you need to celebrate that. Because if we spend all of our time wishing about things that we have not achieved yet or that have become difficult to achieve, we will not get in a positive place. And you need to be in a positive place emotionally and mentally in order to do this and to really be successful in taking good care of yourself. Because in the end of the day, we are healing ourselves in getting healthy. We are not dying from being on a diet. And on that note, I'm gonna thank you very, very much for watching. And I'm gonna look very forward to making you another video and I will see you then. For now, bye-bye my friends. You stay well.